Hello and welcome back to NBA 2K25. We're going to be on game two of my league, 82 game season. Let's get right into it. We lost the last one pretty bad. Let's see if we can bounce back against the Bucks. The Bucks are uh, a little too good though. I do not like this. I do not like this one bit. Don't like it at all. Chris and Shakedown made their debuts as affiliation leaders for Rise and Elite, and we're happy to report that in 2K25, point guard. everybody goes point guard. That's right, Alexis. Nobody in goes 2K24, center. My Elite ended up winning five seasons, while Rise only won three. I'm excited to take them down again in 2K25. Okay, okay, we'll see about that, Chris. Inside the city, the affiliations have brand new designs. Rise players will be getting buckets and a mech factory, while elite players will be hooping in an old pirate fort. And while you're hopping into the got next spot, be sure to hit the rebound button to watch the latest episode of 2K TV. And we have new ways to... Coming right up, the Bucks taking on the Bulls. For the Bucks, a loss in their opening game. So tonight, they're laser focused on securing their first win. Bulls, Bucks, we'll be right back after this. What are they doing? They're just sitting there. I guess they're getting in that game mindset. Good Friday night to you sports fans. You've come to the right place. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I've actually been to this right now. It is not Dan good. Dan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Ulrich. This is Kevin Harlan. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Ivica Zubac is out there at Thompson. Then it's James. Then there's Desmond Bain. And it's Capella in at center. And for the Bucks. Out in the wings for him, we'll see Trent Jr. and Middleton. The post pair, the longtime duo of Anacumbo and Lopez. And it's Lillard in at the one. I didn't even see the intro. This season's still very young. Greg, and I see the intro that I'm visiting team. Well, Kevin, I'm always interested in the rookie. Seeing which guys step up. The leap to the NBA can be a huge one. So you never know what will happen with some of these young players. And he Man, I'm trying to get the defensive settings, dude. They got a uh -uh, dunk, right. right? And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Yeah, defensive breakdown there. Gotta communicate and switch that screen. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ball game. Here's James. And it's sent back by Lillard. And up the court come the Bucks. Come on, on dude. The Lillard block you? That's Count embarrassing. Big man. That is embarrassing. That is That's a big reason Giannis earned the name, the freak. Now here's James Thompson outside. Pass to Capella. Dude, his, his defense is too good. Middleton against Thompson. Over Middleton. Thompson with the bucket. A true shooter. Thompson can adjust his touch perfectly for that mid range. Alert against Capella. Pulls it from the elbow. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. And it is dangerous to let him get it going this way. Now here's James. Outside, Bain. And Gary, Gary Trent makes the whistle that time. That's his first foul. First team foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought Both the defense was the just there a little late. Mike, Mike Conley's checked in for Chicago. Set that thing. Fires the three. Early. A rebound by the Bucks. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Middleton. Mike Conley grabs the miss. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Yeah, that's the kind of aggressive defense you always want to see on the interior. Bain, no good. Oh, this is exactly the kind of opportunity you don't want to waste. And onto Tacumbo, screams it in. 
convenient look. Simple. The athleticism of Giannis from on full display. Now, Greg, it took 40 years, but the Bucks finally won their second NBA title back in 2021. Yeah, and Kareem leading that 71 squad. Giannis was the man in 2021, averaging 35 and 13 during the finals. And closing out the Suns with that 50 piece in game six. And if you're looking to make a big play with the pass, you've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley oop blocks. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. It's Trent on the wing, guarded by Bain. The wide open look here for Lopez sinks the three pointer. All right, we're down 11. This is the kind of start they were hoping for. And it's too good defensively on the inside. Now Capella, his last outing, 16 points for him. The shot by Thompson, no good. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First a solid foul. passer and First rebounder, but it's ha, really scoring. It. <laughs> shows up big. He can be just relentless on that end of the floor. Well, that's not the focus we're used to seeing from him at the line. He's usually rock solid from there. And every year, and Greg, we agree, Bain seems to get better and better as a playmate. Doesn't overdo anything with his passing. Looks more and more comfortable creating off the driving kick. He's become a large part of this offensive engine. So we do right, he's checked in for the box. And you know, Stan, we watch Desmond Bain I almost kind of like this leader better than Twain. He's always been there, but now he really is at the top of the heat. Yeah, he sure is. Look, Kevin, you know, he came into the league as a three-point shooter, and he's a great one. But he's developed his game off the dribble. Very good mid-range shooter. And he's strong enough to finish around good the rim. Defense. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Thompson right side. And that one Eight. falls. Here we go. Off cut. Cut. Thompson's cut to got the his second basket of the night. Known as a shooter, Thompson's size allows him to score inside. He's there. Oh. Wasted no time on that one. And, you know, he's not Dinky. usually the guy to break out the crossover. Worked for him that time, but I'm not sure I would be doing that consistently. And they'll get another chance. Zubox kicks to Thompson. Now the pass to Bain. Oh, good on the triple. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Middleton. It's all in by the Bulls, and this is the first season matchup for them against this Milwaukee team. And two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Well, these are the games you get up for, regardless of how you played late. Has been Bain. And Bain drops some right. ball. And when you talk to people get about it. the Bulls, GA, Michael Jordan shadow still looms large over this team and organization. And Kevin, they haven't won a championship before or since he was in Chicago. They've had plenty of good players. Derrick Rose, baby. MVP, Jimmy Rose as well. But the results haven't been there. Oh. Middleton dishes to Lillard. Back to Middleton. For the three. Daddy. And Thompson sends it back. In terms of off guards, Thompson is an all-defensive team Daddy. player. Huh? Can compete with the best of them. Outside, out of the combo. The offensive rebound. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Giannis has got eight points. Well, he obviously came in ready to play, already hitting wow. four of his first five shots. Milwaukee leading by seven. There's the lob at the combo and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. The correct decision by Middleton. Moving to his wide open oh, teammate, Chris, a terrific passer off the wing. Now, here's Thompson. No good on the three. Giannis with it. Zubox defending. Stolen by Conley. Finally oh, and a fast score. break for the Bulls. And the rejection oh. by Giannis. I got blocked. Thompson against Lillard. Middleton. Basket good. Not stop it. Breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Milwaukee. Well, their defense has been really 
impressive, especially Floppy. the number of blocks they've managed to get. It's not easy to keep denying guys at the rim. And they are also just outworking the opposition in transition. When the break is on, they've continued to find oh, ways to score. Now, this hasn't been his quarter so far. He's really struggling to get going. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense yeah. of urgency. Now here's Conley. Last game out, he had 14. Pass to Thompson. Over Middleton. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Looking at Chicago, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Pelicans. Offensive rebound. Another shot. And Atatakumbo lays it in. He's got 12. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Yeah, I mean, this is exactly how you want to start a game with a big offensive push. And the rejection by Giannis. They retain possession. Thompson passes to come. And the Bulls with another miss. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. And the slam dunk by Hunter Tacumbo. Come on, man. One way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. Obviously, guys, brilliant coaching, a perfect game plan. Now here's Conley. Played in with a nice there touch we go. off the glass. Conley's got a second through. bucket. You know, not a good start for him offensively. Just two of eight from the field, but his confidence has not waned. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Lillard. And while we've got a moment, I send home. it over to our terrific reporter, David Ong. David, oh, wait, Paul Can't was able it. to talk with Doc Rivers for a minute. The coach said how much he admires Clay Thompson saying that guy is a champion coming back from two years away thompson's still one of the best two-way guards in the league nothing but respect for play zero argument here thompson surely a future hall of fame guys thank you david and Giannis gets it to go and now you see them starting to really work the ball inside here's zubat in off a 10 point game his last outing and the three final is good Jeez. can't believe i got Bain's that got seven points yeah bane is dangerous from three point land the defense has to chase him off that line right no good excellent defense there from zubat thompson in the post he's defended by connaughton and they need his offense right now, but his shot is just not fall. On to Takumbo with the ball. Conley picks him up. On to Takumbo with the bucket. Every aspect of Giannis' game showing tonight just unreal. Outside Conley. Outside Bain. That three off the mark. And even against defense as tight as that, you, you almost expect him to still bury those. The contest plus the board. A full defensive possession from him. Great effort. Here's Capella. Final. And dunk by Capella. Cut through. Yeah, sometimes this seems too easy for Capella. The hoop is right there for him. Inside. Here's Wright. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Every time they get scored on during this Mike run, Conley. it's come from inside the paint. Bobby Portis is checked in for Milwaukee. And Greg, two seasons ago, the Bucks ranked first in defensive rating. Last season, they dropped down to number 19. Yeah, shifting Mike defensive Conley. teams, coaching changes, also swapping Drew Holiday for Damian Lillard. But they can and should be better than 19. Here's Prince. Michael Conley making his last shot. Prince, the best to Giannis. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Five to shoot. And it's good. Looking yeah. quite sharp with 10 of 12 shooting tonight. Well, he has owned this quarter. A major reason they're up right now. Bain passes to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. That's, That's a great pass. Point. Offensively, Bain's the total package. Now, here's Connaughton. He has yet to score. Prince can't hit. Bulls trail by 15. 
Baseline J on the way. That one wide left. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Well, good footwork, good assertiveness, able to put a ton of pressure on the shooter. Zubac finds Thompson. Now Conley on the arc. Second chance shot. And it's Capella missing. And it's right with the ball for Milwaukee coming off that loss against Philadelphia. And that was a game to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, Dude. but I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Well, everyone has off nights. They just need to make sure that they bounce back strong. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot out below 70% last season. You know, you were talking about Giannis. He can put up 30 a game without taking many shots from the perimeter. That's a tall order these days, especially because he gets doubled every single time. So timeout called here, the first for Chicago. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. I mean, in the modern era, you have to be able to stretch the floor or you're going to struggle. Yeah, look, it's really hard to win a game being one-dimensional. It can be done, but it doesn't happen very often. Now, here's McDaniel. And it's sent back by Prince. That was an art, dude. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Yacht. It's good. Man, was so off. Giannis has got 25 points. Well, he's just dominating right now. If his teammates are smart, they'll keep getting him the ball. Conley surveying the D. Healed outside. That was a really and he was able to put oh. up in time, but doesn't fall. Giannis on the combo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force. For Milwaukee, he made his mark in a big way. 21. <laughs> and welcome back to the second right. quarter of action. Down Plenty by basketball 20. left to play, Come but this one has been one sided so far. And quite a position here for the Bucks to be in. What do you think, guys? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. Yeah, they've looked sharp early on with their offense. Getting good chances and converting what they've taken. The guard and off guard are Lillard and Trent. That's how we do it. Chris Middleton is out there with Prince, and it's Portis in at the five down low. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second. Lillard fires away from way outside, and it's Chicago with the rebound. Conley with it. On the wing, heel. Oh, no good what? with the triple. Bucks leading by 18. Down low. Here's Prince. Lillard takes the assist and yeah. lays it in. Pick out the pass. Nice. Lillard's got his second best. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Stolen. Oh, man. I was right to him. Here's Trent. And that'll Chicago be two free throws foul. coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. That one is on heel. First for Milwaukee, foul. they have gone two of four at the free throw line. line the and stand a positive for the Bulls over the last couple of seasons. They've really done a good job of taking care of the ball. Yeah, Kevin, that's been an emphasis for them. You don't want to beat yourself. So you look up and down the roster, it's a pretty disciplined group. But it's also the kind of thing that can change from year to year. And Middleton kicks to Prince. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Prince has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Heel left side. And here's Conley outside. It's hauled in by Trent. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the card. Count the basket. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. Struggling. This is how they'd like to play all the time. Great example of how to build a lead and then sustain it. You win games on both ends of the floor. Prince kicks to Lillard. Takes the 13-footer. Portis can't get it to go. That 
is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Lillard with it. Williams picks him up. Here's Prince. Oh, good defense. Some solid defense from Clark. Here's Conley. Banked in off the glass. Conley. Conley's got eight points. Put on 25. Yeah, Conley is not an easy cover. He can be quick on his feet when he sees a lane to the basket. Middleton against McDaniel. And he got me a Middleton low bar. Get it to go. For Chicago, they've gone two of six from the field in the second quarter so far. Conley, the pass to Williams. That one's in in his first shot this game. That was good. You guys read the game like Conley. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Bucks. Only giving up six here in this quarter. He's looking for Trent and finds him. Up high to Scotty Alley. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley. Oh, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Healed outside. Offline with his three. For Milwaukee, they've gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. And the basket by Lillard. Okay, sweet move, and then make sure to finish the play. Conley with it, backed up by Portis, and it's Williams with the jam. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Portis, Portis on the fall. Mm -hmm. I love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down, well timed. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they down 30 for better. today. Try to do something. Conley for three. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Middleton. That one's good. Just his third make. Brings it to three for eight in this game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A. Brutal. Hey, Kevin, the Bucks are still Brutal. trying to perfect their chemistry. Bobby Porter says things take time. You've got to keep continuing oh. to build it. There's another level name and Giannis can get to. Personal. Just making it clockwork. Team Them continuing to get better at it opens the floor for everyone else on the court. Oh. Kevin? Oh. Oh. David, with those two guys, Dame and Giannis, yeah. it opens the floor up a lot. Hey, thanks for the report. Lopez, he's checked in for Torian Prince. Healed with the bucket. Good. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. The Bucs have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. And it's Middleton penetrating. Oh my goodness, yes, it's good. Moves on good me. for basket number four. He's now four for ten. Yeah, Middleton is a talented scorer from anywhere on the floor. Goes to the paint and does his thing. Right side, Williams. And now we're being joined by our 2K insider, Shams Chirani, who's calling in with a good story. Shams, what do you have? Well, guys, Focus. they're all grappling with this new CBA, especially the dreaded second apron. Fans possibly unclear on what it means. Honestly, even front offices are still navigating the complexities of the new restrictions. But basically, it has become harder for teams to spend big and acquire new players under the current systems. We'll see, guys, how this impacts everyone moving forward. Something to keep an eye on, no doubt. All right, Josh, that's thanks a lot. Milwaukee's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Lillard gets a hand on it. Portis on the foul. Portis has got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies you know on bodies. Chicago calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Well, if you're just going to let them score inside that's not bad. Will, only scored 31 points, well though, so it, it, maybe it is bad. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Antetokounmpo they can be able to get threes in for Portis. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's right in for Trent. Passes it to Bain. Yeah. 
over right. Five on the clock, and the Bulls with another miss. I forgot. And a big lead for them on both the one scoreboard one. and the backboard thus far. And there's the call on Clayton. So do you sit it with three fouls? Big decision for his coach here. Mike Conley's checked in for James. Adetokubo can't get it to go. And Chicago shooting the ball poorly. Just 28%. Conley against Lillard. To the inside. And Capella with the basket on the assist from Conley. Yeah, good footwork by Capella. Setting the pick and finding his spot. Here's pick and rolls are now. probably the best thing we have going They're on for a 15 to 6 run. Like we don't have anything going for us, but pick and rolls are the best. Back to right. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Now that we have a chance, let's go to the 2K leaderboard and reveal last season's top shot blockers. Brook Lopez third. And Wemby shot was blocking crazy. is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. Conley with the three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms Bro. of scoring. He has not oh, been held oh, at all. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. On the wing, Bain. Over right. Rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Capella inside. Right's there. Come on, Does man. not score not with that, that shot. It's his second miss against two made shots. Kept alive with the second effort. And Giannis with the nice bucket inside. Oh, and the Kubo's got 29 in the game. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors. What? He's blocking from behind? And attacking at the rim. Here's right. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Bogus. Lillard's got his seventh assist of the game. Oh. That last one. And Chicago <laughs> shooting just 29% in the second quarter. The offense is suffering. AGA, hey, how about Damian Lillard's time in Portland? 11 magnificent years. I mean, Kevin, arguably the best trailblazer of all time. Rookie of the year, then seven All-Star games. Dame will always be a legend in the world city. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Capella kicks to Bain. Over right. And the Bulls with another miss. And there have been some terrible shot possession. choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. That one, no good. Good D by Thompson. It's good, and that's just his third make in 10 shots. An off game for him. Cutting to the basket. Like How about the body control? Have, Thompson sure. has used to taking punishment and Two still able to, to convert. Pass to right from downtown. And another three for Milwaukee. Bringing that three-point percentage up quite a bit this quarter. Shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Bain passes to come. Let's the three fly. That was a good one. Knocks down the three ball. Conley. Conley's got five points now in the quarter. Right back at you. Conley's a counter puncher. He knows when his team needs a lift. Here's Yuck. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. And we know injuries derailed last season for the Bulls, Greg, but with an aging four, you wonder where they go from here. I mean, the Bulls are kind of stuck in the middle of things as it now stands. Not quite good enough to make a run in the East, but not in a position where they need to start over. Conley, the pass to I was right to him. 
the wide open shot from Connaughton. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Connaughton's got a couple of three pointers in the second for the Bucks. Hillard against Cump. The kick out to Bay. From deep three point land. Rebound Giannis and the Kumbo. On to the Kumbo's got yes, rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. He is I'm really trying to get over there. I couldn't do it. Offensively. Perhaps a little frustration setting in. And with the height to see over the defense, the eyes to spot the open man, Giannis continues to flourish defense. as a facilitator. Honest. And, the and they just get these transitions. Yeah, he's picking it up here in the second transition quarter. Transition After a slow start. They get good transition shots. And here is Conley. He's got 11. 12 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. So off the run and contact on the say. shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul. Yeah, the defender was fouled. Was this is his first chance at the line tonight. For Chicago. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. There's the lob to Lillard, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take ah, the ball. It shows you how crucial communication is. They clearly weren't on the same page there. Got three seconds. Let's go. Capella inside Damn. and through the first half. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. It was a big-time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He ended up with 31 points, six assists, and three blocks. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? Well, when you pass the ball the way they have, Ernie, I mean, this is the kind of scoring line you expect. The guy yeah, they're that dominating. Think, Look at the that. Difference is, is the ball movement. And <laughs> And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Anna Dekumbo in this game has been everywhere. Well, right. with the double double in hand time. through two quarters. Well, you 40 can points just the first half and down what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Well, he's already put in a full day's work. They might want to lighten the load on him in the second half. So for Chicago right now, Ibiza Zubas is out there with Clint Capella. Then there's Desmond Bain. And it's Thompson, and it's Conley in at the point. And for the Bulls, they're shooting just 28%. They are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Thompson with the bucket. Ooh. Assistant, the move. Mike Conley. Milwaukee's gone 6 of 14 with a three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Lillard with no one around. Gets an open look and hits. Lillard's got 15 points. And the defense do they messed up there. Can't allow Dane what? to get his feet set. And there's the call on That's Clay bogus. Thompson. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's his fourth personal foul. Middleton looking it over. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. And another uh, basket for Milwaukee. I love that they're right continuing there. to attack despite being up big. Yeah, they're being absolutely relentless. Building this lead in every way possible. Chicago ball. That got blocked. On the wing, Bain. Defended by Trent. Middleton against Thompson. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Middleton. And with that miss, they're just one for four to start the third quarter. And the double up on Adekumbo. There's Lopez with the three. Adekumbo kicks to Trent. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Yeah, not his best night in terms of shot That's selection. Nice. Lucky for him, his teammates have picked up the slack. Assisted so buckets. Every team wants them. They show you're running effective team offense. And Capella. Oh, I can't believe he got it. Offensively, you have to be aware of Capella. He is a block fast. 
Even now, Stan in his late 30s, Mike Conley still able to perform at a very high level. Well, Kevin, his father was a gold medalist in track and field. So even as Mike Jr. has maybe lost a step, he's still able to compete athletically. Trent against Bain. Chalk up to there. What? Trent's got his third basket of the night right there. On him. And that's just an, taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. A little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Here's Conley. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Nice. Conley's got 17. And he's been a terrific point guard in this league for a long time. Mike Conley just knows how to Trying to steal to that play. thing. Middleton can't get it to go. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Chicago. Zubats trying to break loose. Cut Mike through. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got six in the quarter. Well, anytime you can get a good look close in like that, it's always your best option. Middleton the pass to Lopez. And Middleton kicks to Trent. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Oh, what you can do, what you can do. Lillard against Conley. Launches a three. Uh, and that's good. Man. For three. Come on. 18 points for him. A downright lethal right there. key point threat. Lillard is someone defenders must stay attached to if they want to have any impact. Thompson passes to Conley. And block. That one goes careening oh. off the glass. Here's Trent. Oh. And they call the foul. No. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, the defense can't lose track of him. He's he just too off. talented offensive. Stan, of all the first different first styles of off. offense in this first NBA, what style is the toughest the to defend, forward. toughest to stop? Yeah. Kevin, I, I don't think there's really any difference in terms of styles or systems in terms of what's tough to stop. It's players, and it's how well a system maximizes their best players that's what makes teams tough to stop. Gets it to fall. Desmond the bucket Bain. from Bain. Just look at the body of Bain. He's so strong, and that helps him down low. And Damian Lillard Damian with the jam. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, the man is going for the jump. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Milwaukee on Sunday. They'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Monday, they'll go up against Kristaps Porzingis and the Boston Celtics. And looking at the Cavs matchup, that one will mark game number six for them in the NBA season. We'll see if there are any adjustments between now and then to the rotation. Here's Bain. Damian Lillard pulls it in. Milwaukee's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. You know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position over the hoop break. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss, Chicago calls timeout. Greg, we see the NBA finding players for certain actions or statements. Multiple offenders are always going to be under the microscope, Kevin. Sometimes they end up playing into those expectations, so those punishments can appear a bit skewed. The Bucks making a switch here. Lights checked in. Chicago also making some changes. Williams is checked in for Zubox, and it's McDaniels in for Bain. Thompson for the triple. And Damian Lillard pulls it down. Lillard's got four rebounds now tonight. And the shot goes down. Lillard's got nine points now in just the second half. For Chicago, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's his third foul of the game. First team foul. Lillard surveying the D. And Wright kicks to Lillard. Plays it up and banks it in. Lillard's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Some nights, Lillard can just keep going and going. Okay. Milwaukee's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Here's Trent. 
And the call on the shot Mark sends Williams. him to the line. First personal foul. That's on Mark Second Williams. Foul. And breaking down and some numbers here, the hustle stats Williams. for the Bucks. Well, I love how connected they've been defensively. They're right into shooters and piling up blocked shots. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy no points, boy, foul. they just jump. Gary Trent Jr. Not someone you want to send to the foul line. Clay Thompson is nearly automatic from there. For Chicago, they have been at their finest form at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. In the last season, as a team. And it's a great finish! Oh, oh, oh my! Oh. Amazing athlete. The, the length, speed, uh, Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. Thompson outside, trying to end the drought. A rebound by the Bucks. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it work. Their body language does not look good right now. They're deflated and unable to stop this run helps their team so much with Middleton's passing with effectiveness and it helps him out as a score he's that much harder to defend time now to turn to our sideline reporter David Aldrich David chest and chase accolades he said I put the work in that's how I get my confidence I don't follow the media or my stats what Come I know on. is that I put the work in, and I try to be the best version of myself. And that focus has served him well. Buddy, that have been done. It has. You know, his dedication, David, unquestioned. We appreciate your report. Chicago's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. On, Still dog. 0 for 3. Stolen there by Michael go. Conley. There's the pass to Thompson. They shoot again. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Hey, got, got blocked. Come on, man. Here's Middleton. Here's another rebound. This kind of effort is amazing. Okay, that's the lineup is hard. Oh. Garbage. And he's got such Crap. a great touch and feel around Stinky. the basket. He made that reverse Stinky. look Ooh. easy. Time call not here. The Bulls oh, decide to talk over. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid. And they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Trent. Heald's checked in for the Bulls. Bain comes in for Mark Williams. Oh, to do something. Conley against Wright. I need to get open. On the wing, Heald. Can they get it? That was a good one. Oh. That shot off the mark. And they had some box oh. coverage that turned into no coverage. Thompson against Zonda Kumbo. Driving inside. Giannis dunks it down. And the long strides of Zonda Kumbo. Once he gets downhill, there's almost no stopping. He just doesn't look like himself. Uh. Something's missing. Yeah, and sometimes guys just start pressing. The best thing for him is to just slow it down and concentrate on solid shot selection. Well, he led him with the pass there, almost like a quarterback timing a route. That was impressive. And stolen by Thompson. Takes the three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Portis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Out left to the wing. Here's Connaughton. Hook loose. Makes it off the glass. Connaughton's got eight points. Uh, yeah, no question who's been the aggressor on the offensive glass. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bull. Trying. Middleton right side. And he gets the bucket. Middleton's got six here in this quarter. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake left his feet way too soon and his pure defensive How did they make all these shots and I can't make one from an easy one to a tough one and that's what you have to do protect the house and it's right missing and Chicago shooting an ugly 27% since halftime Conley dishes to Thompson there's another block that got blocked hard 
so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Prince is checked in for the Bucks. Two free throws coming up. And How's that a foul? The foul. Dan, I've always admired you come from a coaching family. Was there a point growing up you knew you wanted to be a coach? Yeah, I, look, I loved being around the game. How did I not grab that? It went so right to two me. two things happened that drove me into coaching. Number one, I loved baseball and I couldn't hit one. So <laughs> that was out. And I wasn't a good enough Finally. basketball player to go on that way. So if I wanted to stay involved in the game, that's when I knew I wanted to be a coach. But your dad had a little bit of that in his background. I said a little kind of tongue in cheek, right? He was uh, a guy that led the way. Oh, uh, yeah, my dad coached for over 40 years, and I think he had a great passion for it and always used to tell us that he never actually felt like he worked a day in his life. He loved it so much. Following in his footsteps, terrific score. Flashing his athleticism on the drive. I like when McDaniels takes initiative on offense. Here's Prince. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That one is on heel. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Milwaukee making a switch. Here. Lopez is checked in. And then for Chicago, Clint Capella, he's checked in for McDaniels. And Zubat sub in for heel. Now let's take a look at the most efficient scores in the NBA from last year's campaign. Third is Ivica Zubac. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. Well, you know, Bain came into this league a terrific shooter. Now he's a terrific scorer. He can do it all. Right outside. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Conley, the pass to Capella. Tries again. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Prince kicks to Connaughton. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touched by Prince. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Lillard's checked in for right. The Bulls shooting the ball poorly. Just 28%. against Lillard. Here's Bain. And again, Chicago. No good. Milwaukee is caught one of four and three point shots here in the third. Connaughton passes to Lillard. Puts up a three. It's the three point pop. Lillard's got 14 points here in the second half. Well, he's going back to the arc. He might be building some momentum from range here in the second half. And the call is going to be Yes, yes, it is an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on Struggle. illegal screens. Struggle. Yeah, and yet we still see it a lot. It's a tough thing to police. Rebounded by Capella. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Good work there as a coach. Baines got 11 here in this quarter alone. Yeah, Bain is a talented scorer. Not just the perimeter threat, he's also capable of finishing inside. Lillard from outside. No good, shot missing. And so it's Milwaukee, able to put on a show for the agents. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. <laughs> this, is, this is nuts. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, he's a consummate floor general, surveying the defense and delivering the pass on time and on target. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an 
evenly fought contest. So with Lillard on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Dan Connaughton is out there with Rollins. And it's uh, Torian Prince. Ooh. And it's Brooke Lopez. Right there. And it's Jackson. And at the three -seat. Whatever drawbacks Lopez may have, scoring in the post isn't one of them. He is a nightmare for opposing defenses to deal with down low. Back to Bain. Trying to get open. Shot clock at five. A three-pointer, no good. Nope. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Jackson misses. And Chicago shooting 28%. A rocky, rocky performance for them offensively. Conley, the pass to Zubat. Out to Conley. Tires from deep. Good on the three-point <laughs> shot. Conley's got 22 points. Hit him. First Hit him three of the half. Second of the Hit game. Can he heat up? Pass to Connaughton. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Right on. That pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look for me. Bucks have gone two or fourth in the field since we started the final quarter of play. Picks it out to Prince. Barry is the long range jumper. He is cold blooded. He drops the dagger on to what was already uh, a uh, big lead. Uh, oh, and defensively, Stan, the NBA awards have so much on these points and what they think they can the achieve. How do you feel about the structure of award voting? Well, right now, Kevin, there's about 100 panelists that, that each get a vote, and that seems like as good approach as any Certainly, I need to be on that it, panel. It. I swear boom, to God. You know, no! I mean, I think we'd probably get more worthy award winners if they would just let me pick them myself. <laughs> but, you know, oh, they make your picks public. And a lot of times, uh, <sighs> voters are uncomfortable with that. Yeah, that doesn't really bother me. I, uh, I'm used to people disagreeing with me anyway. <laughs> I have a family, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> they get it back. Zubat lays it up off he the glass. The yes. Second chance points are all about a lack of effort defensively. Those buckets would drive me nuts. Rollins against Costello. Rollins with the bucket. Rollins right on. first basket of the night. Matter. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Yeah, he didn't let the defense affect whoa, 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 whoa. him there. He just whoa. kept his focus. No and there's foul. the foul on the shot. He'll yeah. go to the line I for two. First personal foul. The first, first one falls. Team foul. At the line for the ball. He doesn't get the second one. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. So it's off to Brooklyn after this game as they have the next to look forward to. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. In recent history, GA, we've seen some so-called redshirt rookies really thrive in their first season. Oh, great call, partner. Blake Griffin, Joel Embiid, Chet Holmgren, the latest, were all forced to sit out their first year, but they got to be around the team, soak up as much knowledge as possible, and you can't really argue with the results. Jackson misses. Chicago's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Second shot opportunity, and Bain with the nice <laughs> bucket inside. Bain's got 20 points. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. Poked away. Bochamp passes to Andacumbo. Second chance up. Oh. And the bucket oh is good. Three-point play that chance here for him. Mm. So boy, he can see blood in the water the attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. Well, you love the dedication. This is how you have to play. Don't let up just because you're out front. Bulls have gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. And Thompson throws it down. That is. And a Mike impressive Conley. athlete. I like seeing Thompson take it inside and drop that. That is. Giannis passes to Jackson. 
It's hauled in by the Bulls. Thompson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Baines. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, I'll tell you what, you never want to foul Bain in the act. He is automatic. Been Bain. Greg, a lot of parody around the NBA. <laughs> Do you think fans like that? It's a great question, Kevin. And there are trade-offs, but as a league, you've got to foster competition and live with the results. And the reality is, Chicago doesn't it feel five. better when you feel when there are more teams that have a legitimate chance to win it all? You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Milwaukee right making a switch here. Lights checked in. Well, he can't get anything to go right now. It's time to look at affecting the game in other ways. Out of bounds. Milwaukee wow. takes possession. Giannis against Capella. Passes it to Andacumbo. Moves back up. And oh, he blocked it. Ah, Flex off the backboard. Jackson finds Prince. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Prince has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Bucks. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Well, look, their ball security has been non-existent. They have to calm down and do a better job taking control of the ball. Bulls have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And this is the right play by Conley. Sticking with the motion and ensuring he gets to the line. So he gets them both. And, Greg, everyone loves talking trades. Future first-round picks have been moved quite a bit of late, and that's been kind of interesting. And, Kevin, a lot of teams that don't yeah. control any of their future first-round picks. There's so much pressure to win now. GMs are willing to use draft assets. Conley against Wright. Stolen yeah, by right Jackson. Prince wide open. And another three for Milwaukee. You guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Well, what I love about the three-point shooting is the, room, baby. Is the spacing that he's adding. It makes things a lot easier for everyone else. And that one's good. Right. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Yeah, he's leaving no doubt in this one doing everything he can to slam the door on a comeback. And a wide open look for Bain. Oh, has been another three for kidding? Chicago. Shooting off the catch is the core of Bain's game, but he can do so much more. Take that back and the official oh, signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. For your box. Chris Wayne Bain. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, there's no reason for the defense to get out on him right now. Just let him keep taking that shot until he shows them he's going to knock it down. You can hear him sputtering all the way over here. He knows he should have knocked that one down. Set that thing. We've exported so much corporate basketball knowledge overseas. I remember when Fratello and you and your brother Jeff would go yeah, over there and have these clinics and teach the coaches the game. And they've taken that knowledge clearly and run with it. No, I think that definitely happened. Getting all those points on the free throw line. I think now it's sort of going the other way in large part. I know that all of us in the league now Barely didn't get study that. what on, the man. great coaches in Europe are doing. And there's a lot of them. And though Ooh, that's the game right there. is different, but they incorporate a lot of different concepts. I don't know a staff in the those, league for that isn't uh, spending a lot of time studying the awesome. international game. Well, they're behind, but it's certainly not because of him. He's doing everything he can. He just needs more help from his teammates. Pass to Middleton. Now Trent. Gray T that time from Bain. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
Fourth personal it goes ball. on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, the truth is, when Capella gets the ball in there, teams very often try to send him to the line. A different look for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Pat Connington in for Trent. Middleton, and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. <laughs> he is just so uh, tough to guard. He can fake you joke. one way and then use that beautiful spin to just blow joke. by you. Kindly, the pass to Capella, and another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his no head on a it. swivel, actively seeking out his yeah, teammate. Team of pick and roll is and right, here we go. Good from the moment it left his hand. That makes him 10 for 14. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. Well, it's not going to get any easier oh if they can't improve their the layup, defensive man. intensity. They got to show some fight. Milwaukee's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Here's right. And that one, Dude, good. That on Wright's got 24. Just on him. He's creating good looks and shooting. Very efficient. Buries it down low. And that's a double double for him now. 11 points and 11 rebounds. Right against Cup. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. How? Hey, Coach Van Gundy, what advice would you give to the teams that are rebuilding around their young players? Well, generally, Kevin, what I would say is get some veteran leadership, some veteran presence on your team also so that you have guys that can show the young guys what professionalism is and help them in their adjustment to the NBA. Getting the right kind of veteran, right? With the right kind of message. Uh, that's a great point. Just having an older guy is not the answer. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game. Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, no doubt who our that. pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. Under the rim, yeah, under the and rim. where has the defense been? They've been content to let them fire away. They've got to close out to the arc. Middleton, the pass to Portis. And there's the pass to Connaughton. And it's Desmond Bain with the foul. Black it. Come on, I can't move that foul. Of the game. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Here's Middleton. From deep, Prince, good, and the assist goes to Middleton. They ran out to him. Middleton's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've been... Here's Light. Fouled in the act of shooting gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. Fifteen foul. He just threw that up there. How does he get that? How is that even a continuation? Free throw drops four. Just randomly threw it up there. Every year we have the best teammate award. What are some of those qualities that you admire in a great teammate? You know, Kevin. You want guys who make you better and who make it fun to come to work every day. In the end, teammates are like family. So trust, commitment, and just enjoying being with one another. It matters. Right. And easy two points on the way. Right, has got 31. And you can just see the, the defender just way too slow. And he got burnt there for the layup. That's where speed can kill. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a, <laughs> a dominating performance Great. for the Bucks. This was a team performing it. to its uh, yeah. fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget.
And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's yeah. over. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, you know, his work on the glass was a key factor, helping to turn the tide as far as the possession game, and so often, that's the difference. Conley inside the line, rebounded by the Bucks. 46 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's right, and it's blocked by Conley, Got and he gets block. it back. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Chicago. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Second personal fight. Thompson is known for that shooting ability, but deserves more recognition for his defense. Ball. He's got the size, the lateral quickness, Taking and most importantly, shots. the desire defensively. First free throw is good. And so Thompson nails there. both of them. A legendary shooter. So Thompson is Last also a versatile defender who plays with great energy on both sides of the ball. Pass to right. It's hauled in by Zubats. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Pass to Thompson. Let's it go from deep. A shot off that time. And barely late. Middleton outside. So no problem for the hockey as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control operating flawlessly. And the other just for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just way so better. tremendous. Thank you, David. Thank you that for joining us. That'll do it for now. Nature show for sure. 45 and 27. Ray had 31. Lillard had 27. Prince had 17. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all those rebounds they got. Look at all those assists. Look at all those steals. Look at all those rebounds. Hunter Kubo had 45, 27, 8, 2, 6. Lillard had 3 threes. Prince was 5 for 5. Conatin was 2 for 2. Portis was 1 for 1. Wright was 1 for 1. Like, it was just crazy out there. Payne had 27. Conley had 26. Thompson had 14. Zubak had 13. Capella had 11. You know what's bad when Capella only has 7 rebounds? So that's how you know we got cooked on the boards. Capella only has 7 rebounds. You know we got cooked on the boards. Somehow Thompson had a double-double. Connolly had 26, 2, and 21. That is insane, but nine turnovers, so that hurt. Uh, uh, man, Thompson was 0 for 8 on threes. Conley had two threes. Bain had two threes. And that was it. Not great. Capello was 1 for 2 for free throws. Bain was 9 for 10. Thompson 4 for 6. Zubak 1 for 2. And Conley 6 for 6. Not a lot going on. I mean, it was just struggle all game. Six and nine, giggity. Man, brutal. Brutal. Conley was responsible for 69 points, giggity. Uh, Conley had the worst plus minus, but that's because he played almost the whole game. Ronnie James only had three minutes, but he was still minus four. Clark only played eight minutes, and he was minus 16. Brutal. Got to regroup and get ready for the home game. Uh, these two are on the road against decent teams. So at home next game, that could be a, uh, a game to turn the page, you know, fresh start, all that. All that. So uh, I'm feeling good about the next. Uh, it's against OKC. I'm not feeling good about that at all. They're a really good shooting team. But it's at home, so you never know. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.